This is an iambic octameter dedicated to you. Don't shoot through. Uh, excuse me, can I have some silence? Can I have some fucking silence? What I want to know, right, is we were speaking to the enemy earlier, you know, the band that were on stage. And, um, I do. Like, were you ever media trained? Yeah, yeah, yes, I was. What does media. I, 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 I had one line. I had three hours of it. And it was with that bird called Kate Thornton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kate Thornton, yeah. who I fancy the pants out of. We're just talking about um, the porking of one's cookie. Explain. I wasn't really listening, actually, but it was something about how fabled this dressing room is. But basically, um, on this very table, um, my cousin once uh, couldn't find anything to eat uh, after a long night's um, post streets gig. Bought my cookie is a is a is a is an average, you know, to medium density Maryland cookie wrapped in a low quality, um, reconstituted ham product. And I was just going to ask the enemy whether uh, such a snack uh, could spread. I think, I think later on we'll be doing a variation with a sort of a, a cheddar bourbon. I reckon we're because and, and, and what, what would one call that? Like, like uh, I'd have to have a think about it. <laughs> we're here in the uh, Wombats dressing room discussing young fans. Uh, our youngest fan is uh, seven years old. You check that. Oh, Cherry Oaks Crystal. You know her name. <laughs> Crystal. Um, how does it feel to be number two in the, the enemy chart show? I feel like I, I'm like presenting you with an award, actually. <laughs> and, and rank. No. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a good laugh, isn't it? Um, there's actually a name for that final ranking. I was watching that. Who's the freaky? Cranking. No, no, who's the freaky guy with the big lips? Fucking, what's his name? Oh, yeah, easy. Uh, what's his name? BA? No, the freaky guy. The spin like round like a record. What's the guy's name? Gwyneth. Oh, Gwyneth. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Burns and yeah, Smithers, Burns. yeah. Burns, I was watching something the other day and he was telling me there's a special name. I can't what it is when you cry and you have a wank when you've like been dumped by, in his case, a bloke. Like Liam, you know, he said if you went bald, he, he couldn't ever be in a band because his hair was so important. How important is your hair? I think if, if, you were, if I went bald, I'd be gutted. Would you stop playing? I don't know. I'd, I'd, I, might, I, might, I might just not leave the house. What about um, Green Day? Green Day started off fairly hardcore and they wear makeup. You know what I mean? <laughs> not really wearing any makeup. I think you should have an issue with that more than is there. Oh, yeah, well, you know what? The, the issue I've got is, is I'm getting old. You know that my, you know, my eyes are looking less defined as the years go by. You know, I'm kind of thinking Green Day look are starting to look a bit middle-aged, aren't they? You know, so it's like fucking slap on the, the you know, the. I was going to say Maryland. What is it? Maybelline. You're stuck with Maryland cookies. That's what you got around your eyes. Like. Hey, are you ready? Here it comes. Alex Zane wants us to come in and see him on the breakfast show. Now I know, you know, what would you guys want us to say about Alex Zane? He's a close personal friend of mine. Yeah, I've heard this. Honestly, tell us the story. Well, if you bump into him, just, just you know, thank him for his, his ongoing sort of appreciation and support for the band. But, but what happened? Without, without, without. Huh? You don't know, basically, there's a big rift. It's one of those legendary start rock rifts. Is that, is that as big as Streets Chris Moyles? Or yeah, is it like, like big. You know, Oh, okay, well, yeah, please kiss more. See, that, that is a bit because he's actually got some listeners, so that could yeah. be quite dangerous. We like to send, when people fuck with us, we like to send them stuff. We can't get horses' we heads and shit. Them, actually. Oh, have you? Excellent. We, we sent him a gold disc when the album went gold. Gold discs, dead pigeon. He sent a dead pigeon. <laughs> you think you. Don't know if we, can talk about we can't talk about that. We, you know, we couldn't get a dead horse. That's to me what. Yeah. What it's this, about. if you want a reaction, you should look at this. Okay. <laughs> I don't want a fucking dead horse in my house, do you know what I mean? We couldn't get a dead horse in a jiffy bag. <laughs> That's true. What's amazing though is that the post, like, the post office is shit, but I'll tell you, they got that dead pigeon there quick. <laughs> don't shoot through. You're going to lose. A bloke who's truly devoted to you. I owe to you to know a few truths. Home truth truths. You're going to screw. 
know you like my body, the way I move. I'm gonna come over into your house and get into your groove. I say you don't pay me for my precious milk. I'm worth more than my fucking weight in silk. I said, huh. 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 Hey, how's it finish? Yeah, we say. What's it go? Gotta do to get some dope. I'm gonna pop that farmer in his throat. Oh, what's it go? Gotta do to get some dope. I'm gonna shove my cock right up his nose. I think you won. So is the coat on drugs related to the coke badger or the ketamine horse? Uh, no, he's he's got he's actually got an STI as well. And he's got what? An STI? Is that like you need to go to the clinic? Can I, can I yeah, take yeah. a piss in your dressing room?